Hello everyone and welcome to WTF. We got a great episode for you all here tonight. The subs are back. And who are we starting off with here? What in the world? Who in the world is this? It's a psycho Twitter user. And apparently that smoke is from his vape pen. And he has a skull, which does not surprise me at this point. What in the world is he doing? You're on the wrong platform, buddy. You're on the wrong platform. What is going on here? He's on the wrong platform. This is not Twitter, okay? You can't complain here. I want to start off by saying this. I'm a psycho Twitter user. And that skull I just put in the corner of the rain was the last person that disagreed with my tweets. That's right. I am here to assess what is appropriate on this brand. And a lot of things are not appropriate on this brand. A lot of things offend me. These turnbuckle pads offend me. This blue rope offends me in the ring. This barricade offends me. These announce tables offend me. Michael Cole, you offend me. Ken Chrysler, you offend me also. And I am here to take charge and we are going to change things around here, whether you all like it or not. And I know a lot of you all at home are mad because you wish you had all the piercings I have in my face. You wish you had beautiful hair like me instead of being bald. You're all a bunch of rednecks. And let me make this clear. If any of you rednecks have a problem with me, you'll come down to this ring right now. Yeah, it's your funeral, buddy. It's your funeral. I'm offensive. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, here's something to be offended by. The whooping that you were about to receive. Okay? That's what you need to be offended by. Because Steve Austin is here and he didn't take kindly of those words that you were using. And, um, I don't think he wants your hair either. Oh my goodness. And this is what happens when you mess with the wrong people. Let me remind you. And look here, a stunner. Oh my goodness, what a stunner there. And another one. Why not? Why not? Why not another one? And Steve Austin. And of course... Of course, Simon, oranges are better than squash. You don't need to tell your husband that. Goodness. She's telling her husband, Simon, oranges are better than squash. We all know this. I mean, it's it's obvious at this point. And um, the Twitter user was trying to fight back, but uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I think we're going to have to call an ambulance. Uh, I, I think he's... I, yeah, he's unconscious, I think. What a bum. What was he thinking? And now we are going to our 24-7 championship match for tonight. It is going to be a great one. Like, what a moron. What was that guy thinking? Coming down to the rain and running his mouth? He was on the wrong platform. I tried to warn him. And how are barricades offensive? What did they do? And anyway, oh, back from the World Cup. So we're going to talk about that because Messi is here to challenge for the 24-7 title. I interviewed him earlier and he said this title ma matters more to him than the World Cup. So he's going to get an opportunity here. Lionel Messi hair, may I say, because his hair is messy. Remember, his hair is messy. <laughs> so... We are about to see him against Pinhead Hogan here tonight. And 24-7 title is up for grabs. And boy, is it going to be a good one. And look at Lionel Messi hair. All right. So he is ready, as he'll ever be. Because he's going up against one of the tw best 24-7 champions of all time. Uh, Pinhead Hogan. Pinhead Hogan is very good at what he does. He's extremely good at what he does.
And of course, the subs are back. They're not going to be happy about the Tajiri. 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 I'm sorry, I, I keep on putting an R in his name. Tajiri. They're not going to be happy about the Tajiri takeover that has taken place here. Um, and uh, we already know that Pizza Party will be teaming with Ozzy tonight to take on some WWE goofballs. And uh, of course, Pinhead Hogan's here. And this is going to be a big test because Messi's coming out of that World Cup win. And he's got a lot to prove here because this is the title that he's been wanting all of his life. He, he told me he didn't care as much about the World Cup. This is the title that he needs in his life. So uh, this is going to be a good fight. And here we go. Pinhead Hogan going after Lionel Messi here. And a kick out there. So we're, we're going to talk about some of the stuff that we are having tonight. Of course, we're having this matchup. We're having the six-man tag, but our main event is a six-man match for the number one contender for the Universal Belt. So that is going to be a big deal. Uh, the winner will face Iron Taylor at the next pay-per-view, which will be... Um, two episodes from now. So, the winner tonight will take them on, and not only will um, this main event be a six-man match, it's also going to be an elimination chamber tonight. So that is our main event. We got an elimination chamber for you all. Uh, we are definitely back from the World Cup. You can tell. Because we are back on schedule. And, of course, Tajiri is going to be in that matchup. Plum is going to be in that matchup. Uh, DJ is going to be in that matchup. Uh, Darby Country Allen, Curious George, and uh, Tajiri. So, a lot of talent in that match. And, of course, Tajiri put himself in. Because, for some reason, around here, we got people that think they could just be a number one contender. Uh, but he's going to have to earn it, at least in this elimination chamber. Oh, and also I've just been told that a referee is going to be in the matchup. So, referee. So, it's a six-man match. <laughs> and the psychotic referee is going to be back again. Um, because he still thinks he can win a title here. And what in the world is Lionel Messi hair doing? I think that hair's been caught in his eye or something. He was walking all the way on the other side of the ring. move always. Oh, man. Just watching that move hurts a little bit. Just that stomp on the face. It's just got to leave a mark. And look here. And Pinhead Hogan is showing no mercy to Lionel Messi here. Look at Pinhead Hogan celebrating here and now going for a pin. And a kick out there by Lionel Messi here.
Oh man, stomps on Messi again. And that big boot connects as well. And a kick out there. Uh-oh, here comes the leg drop. And he misses, which it's so dangerous doing that leg drop because you can easily miss. And a kick out there from Pinhead Hogan. Oh man, what a nice frog splash. And another kick out. Pinhead Hogan kicks out of that one. Lionel Messi here could not believe that uh, Pinhead Hogan kicked out, but he did. And he tries again and did not work. And look at Pinhead Hogan going uh, top turnbuckle here. And he connects good there. And a kick out there from Lionel Messi here. So both of these guys have gotten multiple kickouts. It's a matter of time before somebody gets pinned here. And look here. Oh man, kick to the head. And Lionel Messi here. Going for the pin, and he's got a point. Oh, wow. So it is one to nothing. And a kick to the face to, to put a second big move in. And we got a new 24-7 champion. Wow. So first he wins the World Cup, and now he wins the 24-7 title. Wow, just amazing. And that is your new 24-7 champion, Lionel Messi here. Wow. Just like that, you can lose the 24-7 title, too. It's that easy. And now we are going to go to our six-man matchup. And here comes Ozzy. Dial Tone has returned, by the way. He's supposed to be taking back the tag title um, from Brandon. Brandon is going to move on to some management. And Dial Tone is supposed to be the um, tag champion. That's who was before. But... Um, He's not wearing the belt tonight. But, yeah, Ozzy's had enough, and he's got Pizza Party with him this time. But the question is, who is he facing off with? The world? The heck is this? It's Tajiri Takeover, and it's Kevin Thorne is here? I thought he was like a real estate agent. And with Kevin Thorne and Great Kali is Hayden, Hayden Reich. What in the world is he doing here? And they got pinatas, but I'm sure there's no good candy in them. They never have good candy in those pinatas. Never. So I'm not even going to worry about taking the pinatas. Um, yeah, Hayden, Hayden Reich. I, I, I can never, I almost can't say that word. It's almost like a tongue twister to me is here. Hide and Reich. That's what I'm gonna. I'm, but anyway, Pizza Party and Ozzy gonna take on these three from the Tajiri Takeover. Hide and Reich. Hide and I'm gonna Hide and Reich. I think it, that's how you say it. Oh my goodness, these names. They gotta just. Why cannot everyone just be named John? Sometimes it's just easier that way. It's hard pronouncing some of these names. Hide and Reich. Heidenreich. I'm going to just say Heidenreich. Okay, Heidenreich. i got to say that over and over again. 
so I can get it right. Hayden Reich. Oh my goodness. I thought it was like Hydric or something. And anyway, Hayden Reich. Hayden Reich. Okay. He says it over and uh, over again in the song, I think. But anyway, they're trying to make a name for themselves. They're trying to overthrow, um, uh, trying to overthrow uh, this brand, basically. And finally, Ozzy got his subs for support now. So he's about to even things up around here. But there's more WWE guys that are definitely involved with Tajiri. Look at Heidenreich throwing darkness around. And look at Ozzy here going after Kevin Thorne. He went from a vampire to a real estate agent. That's what I've heard. That was the rumors at least. And Ozzy uh, almost got a three there. I was never a big fan of Kevin Thorne. I mean, like, were vampires really supposed to be on ECW? I mean, they really took the sci-fi channel to, you know, to the extreme there, you know. I get it's on the sci-fi channel, but you don't have to actually have science fiction and horror characters on there, but it is what it is. That was a long time ago. You know, they're trying to bury the past. I'm not going to bring up the past on it. Look at Dial Tone step in on Heidenreich's hands. And Ozzy, oh, what a dive, but he barely missed. Hurt his back in the process. And last week, things, if you guys did not watch last week, Tajiri basically overthrown the brand for one week and uh, over $1,000. Apparently, Ozzy owed him 50000 He wanted 51000 So, that's what this argument's all been about. And this is what this conflict has been about. And we just don't have the extra $1,000. Uh, we, we are... We have basically a budget. And at SummerSlam, we had a $50,000 budget to destroy Michael Myers. We cannot give you 51000 that's just the rules. We can't give you a penny of it. It's just the rules. It's part of the budget. You cannot mess with the budget. And th now we have a war going on over a thousand dollars. All Tajiri needs to do is like work for a month in some gas station. He could have a thousand dollars. And trust me, professional wrestler on your resume is great. Oh man, Darkness takes a shot to the Great Kali, the back of the Great Kali's head. And Kevin Thorne choking out Ozzy here. Look at Darkness stepping on Heidenreich's hands. Man, they keep on stepping on his hands. How is this guy supposed to write a romantic novel if you keep on stepping on his hands? My goodness gracious. And look at the great Kali. Where is he going? He's just going on, circling himself around the ring. He could have went the other way. This is just nothing but chaos here. It's uh, two out of three falls. Falls count anywhere.
Oh my goodness, and Dial Tone dropped on his head. We got a double team going on between Kevin Thorne and Heidenreich. I think I got the name down. I, I hope I'm saying that right. We'll see. Look at darkness here. Got Great Kali and a guillotine. And Heidenreich is coming after him. And he breaks up the submission. May have saved a fall there. But darkness is still going to go for a pin. And uh oh. Kevin Thornton steps in. So some good teamwork by these two. Protecting the Great Kali. Ozzy, oh man, Ozzy just kicked Heidenreich in the face. And Great Kali with the breakup. And Kevin Thorne throwing darkness out of the ring. What, I mean, what are these guys doing? That's what I want to know. I haven't seen them in action in like, uh, probably like a decade. At least a decade. And Heidenreich gets a pin. Gets Ozzy in a roll-up pin. So good move there by Heidenreich. And that caused some damage for sure. So, so far, Tajiri, the Tajiri takeover has a point and a nice dive there by Ozzy. But Tajiri takeover has a point right now. So, uh-oh. And look here. The kick out there by Heidenreich. And Ozzy going for a pin. And not even a chance on that one. Darkness pins the great Kali. So it is now one to one. We have a tie here in this torna tornado six man matchup. And look at Ozzy. And Heidenreich trying to go for a pin, doesn't even get a one, and Darkness just takes a knee to his head. Oh my goodness. Darkness just punting. And look at Ozzy here. And almost got the pinfall. So close on that one. And look at, oh, Ozzy missed. And it is coming down to this last point. Who is going to get it? And look at Darkness throws the great Kali out of the ring. And Darkness going for the pin. Kevin Thorne is trying to, Hydenreich's trying to get there, but Ozzy steps in the way. He falls in the way. He's more like it. And it looks like Pizza Party and Ozzy win. Heidenreich could not get to the pin because Ozzy was laying in, in the pathway. And uh, it saved Pizza Party and Ozzy. And by the way, guys, this is brought to you by our sponsors. We, we now have new sponsors. So um, just stay tuned for this advertisement. Are you interested in buying a shovel? Are you interested in using a shovel to dig up some dirt or bury one of your enemies? Well, ladies and gentlemen, 
Welcome to Shovel Stone Incorporated, the world's best shovels. For $19.99, you can get a shovel that is made of the best materials possible. We are located on many city locations, including Orlando, Florida, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, New York City, Chicago, Illinois, Boise, Idaho, Pikeville, Kentucky, and Sam Black Church, West Virginia. For a limited time offer, we will be selling two shovels for the price of one starting Saturday. Make sure you stop by at your local Shovel Stone Incorporated. Thank you. And have a nice day. Okay, I think, first of all, we need new sponsors, maybe. What in the world was that? By, by the way, this is our Elimination Chamber match. It is our main event. Uh, brought to you by Shovel Stone Incorporated. I, I hate to tell them that uh, I know a lot of people watching are not familiar probably with West Virginia. Uh, but Sam Black Church is not a city, okay? It is an exit, that is like a small town or something. It's it's not a city, okay? I don't know where that came from. Um, it is definitely not near as big as New York City. Let me just say that. Um, it's just an exit in, like, I think Greenbrier County or something. It's like, no, that is not a city. That is, that is not a good location to have a shovel store, okay? Okay. Uh, I don't know what they were thinking. Maybe they were trying to, you know, cut back on cost or something. I don't know. Uh, that is not a city, though. To just to let you all know. Um, yeah. But anyway, and a kick out there by Darby Country Allen. And this is 30 seconds, so we already have Plum and Curious and George and Darby Country Allen in, and this has it's only been like a minute and a half into this matchup. A little bit over a minute and a half. Um, and here comes the psycho referee. So we already got four people in. We got six people left. And the winner of this will take on the Iron Taylor at the pay-per-view. So it's a big deal for the Universal Championship. Yeah, I am not, I'm not, I, you know, Shovelstone is going to try to, you know, promote themselves, and that's okay, because they gave us, a, a, you know, they they sponsored this video, so I'm, you know, um, I, but I'm just educating them, that one place is not a city, uh, it is definitely not a city, he said that, you know, we're located in multiple cities, and all of those are cities except for Sam Black Church. That is not a city. Okay, I, I don't know why he thinks that is, but it is what it is. I, I don't know. I, I've been by there a couple times, and it, it's nothing like New York City. Trust me. Now, New York City would be a, probably a good place for a shovel shop. Yeah, I, I could see that. I could see Milwaukee, Chicago. Chicago would be good. I don't know what in the world you're going to have one in Orlando, Florida for. I mean, I guess you could dig up some dirt or bury an enemy. And, uh, kind of creepy there, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, <laughs> but yeah, Milwaukee and... New York City, they get snow all the time, so um, I don't know. I guess they sh sell multiple types of shovels. Um, but, yeah, those are our sponsors. We, we, we got to thank them for helping us out here. And, uh, yeah. So it looks like everybody's out. I thought it was funny. T Tajiri was number six. Huh. As someone that took over management, I, I, I thought that was kind of weird. That out of all six people, he's number six. Huh. It's almost like he planted himself at number six, perhaps. 
And I hate when the ref fights because I don't like I get confused of where he's at because there's two referees and one's counting and one's not. And sometimes it's even worse when it's the same ref. You know, when it's his twin brother, then it's even worse. But uh, at least I can tell between these two. Look at Tajiri here. Oh, wow. What a nice high flying move there. Good to have an elimination chamber. And, you know, thanks to Shovel Stone Incorporated, we could have this elimination chamber. That's how we paid for it. I, I've just been told that's how we paid for it. And look at DJ here, gonna. Oh, nice reversal by Curious George. Oh, DJ there. Goodness, Darby Country Allen taking the referee by his leg. What a hit. Darby Country Allen would love another shot at that Universal title. He is a former Universal champion. Let me remind you. Look at Plum here. Taking the ref to Suplex City. And DJ's been eliminated by Darby Country Allen. So DJ's the first one out here and Plum going for a pin. Plum eliminates the referee, so we're down to four. And what a stunner by Plum. Unexpected on Darby Country Allen. And he's been eliminated, so Plum gets two in a row and we are down to three. One of these three will face the Iron Taylor at the pay-per-view. Tajiri's trying to get, you know, as close as he can get. He had to be in a number one contendership match. He didn't have that much power, but we can tell that he may have planted himself at number six here, uh, which the odds of him being number six are very unlikely. So most likely he had something to do with it. He may have paid the chamber people off.
a kick out there by Plum. Curious George going for the pin on Plum, and he got him. So we are down to two. It is going to be between Tajiri and Curious George. We are down to two. One of these two will face the Iron Taylor for the Universal title. And look at George here. Somehow that did not connect, probably because of 2K, if you're wondering why. And Tajiri's going for a swing. My goodness. And George is even like un unstable a little bit over that. And George is going to face off with the Iron Taylor. He defeats Tajiri, despite D Tajiri, uh, Tajiri um, cheating, I think. I think he cheated. He was number six. Thought that was kind of odd, but Curious George doesn't care because he wins, and he will face the Iron Taylor at the pay-per-view. Thank you all for dropping by. We will see you all later, and make sure to buy a shovel from Shovelstone Incorporated.